So before I joined the RAF, I was originally in Sussex Police for two years. And my best friend, who was a weapon systems operator, told me that I should go for it. I've, I've never heard of weapon systems operator before, but I went for it and I got it, and I'm happy I did and excited for more. I am Matthew, and um, I'm a weapon systems operator acoustics analyst. So my role involves day-to-day -day is the fact I'm a weapon systems acoustics operator. So what I'm involved with is as the Sonar Boys are dropped into the ocean, I use the sound from it to track, locate and identify submarines. Uh, I currently work in a team of eight and teamwork is incredibly important. If the pilot and myself don't communicate, then the Sonar Boys are going to be dropped in the wrong area and we're just going to lose the submarine. If I don't communicate with the electronic warfare uh, department, then we can't actually deal with the radar signatures and other fishing vessels when we're flying low, we might crash into them. So we all have to be communicating with each other and working very tightly as a team. So the length of training is about two and a half years. Uh, from basic, 10 weeks, to the uh, official conversion unit, which takes six months. There's the sergeant course, the ISR foundation course and the advanced course, which all together takes about two and a half years, including breaks. What other roles could lead to? Uh, firstly, uh, if you show ability to, you can commission to weapon systems officer, which very much takes charge of the weapon systems operators. Secondly, you can also transfer into other roles, such as uh, loadmaster, which involves loading equipment and parachuting out of the, out of the back of the C-130s, A-400s and C-17s, or you can transfer into crewman, which is uh, Chinook and Puma. So the amount of time off I get a year is 38 days, which includes uh, bank holidays. Not only that, you have two weeks of adventure training and you also have Eagle schemes. And the RAF is very, very accommodating when it comes to being able to use that time. The support to my personal improvement involves standard learning credits and then you have credits which is very much a one-time thing for either a degree or RAF flying training. 